Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate one of the Selenium exception types that occur during automation that is illegal state exception. So let's get started. We get this exception when we try to open the browser directly using Selenium automation without setting the path to the driver executable file. Now, let me practically demonstrate this exception for you along with the solution for resolving it. For that, I'll open this Eclipse ID where we have the sample project, which is already configured with Selenium. Now, in the sample class inside this main method, I'll write a line of code that is web driver, driver is equal to new edge driver. Here in place of edge driver, you can write Chrome driver or Firefox driver or Opera driver or Internet Explorer driver, whatever you want, okay? Doesn't matter. Now hold the mouse on this web driver and import this web driver from Selenium library and import this edge driver class from Selenium library. Now, if I run this code, I'll get the exception known as illegal state exception because I'm trying to open this edge browser using Selenium automation without setting the path to the driver executable file. Now let me run it. You'll get an exception in the output saying illegal state exception. And the reason for the exception is you need to set the path to the driver executable. Okay, the path to the driver executable must be set simply saying. So why do we have to set the path? The reason behind that is explained here in the official website of Selenium, as you can see on this particular page where this diagram is there saying that, okay, web driver cannot interact with the browser or communicate or talk to the browser directly okay web driver that is selenium web driver cannot talk to the browser directly it needs a mediator known as driver okay if you want to open the chrome browser using selenium or talk to the chrome browser using selenium web driver we need a chrome driver.exe file if selenium web driver want to talk to firefox browser then another driver is required that is known as eco driver okay as a mediator if the Selenium web driver has to talk to the Edge browser, then Edge driver.exe file is required as a mediator. That's why we need to set the path to the driver executable file. Okay. So before you can directly open this browser using Selenium automation script, you have to set the path to the driver executable file because Selenium web driver cannot directly talk to the browsers. With the help of the driver executable files only, they will talk. So, how to set the path? For that, I have to type system.set property. This statement is coming from Java, guys. The system.set property is from Java. Put a semicolon here. And uh, in the case of first null, there are two nulls here. Two arguments we have to provide between the comma and comma, right? Uh, here, double code you put. Here, another double code you put. And inside this first double code, that is the first argument, what I have to provide? Here, if you go to this exception details, okay, the path to the driver executable file must be set by the web driver dot edge dot driver system property okay here we need to set the system property for this property that is web driver dot edge dot driver property okay if you remember you can simply type otherwise you can copy from the message case okay edge driver dot web driver dot edge dot driver simply type this this is the name of the system property and here i need to po provide the here i need to provide the path to the driver executable file from where I can download the driver executable file for this Edge browser, okay? For that, I need to go to the official website of Selenium, that is selenium.dev. And once you go to the official website of Selenium, click on the downloads, guys. In the download, scroll down until you see a section known as browser section. Expand the browser section. Under that, you see Edge browser here. Click on this documentation. You'll be taken to a page where you can download the driver executable files for the edge browser so which version i have to download that is a problem right to solve that problem open the edge browser that is there in your machine just type edge here and uh, open the edge browser and in this once the edge browser is opened click on this three dots guys and go to this help and feedback and say about microsoft edge so this will display the version of the Edge browser you currently have, that is 97.0.1072.69, okay? In your machine, the Edge browser at this moment is having that particular version. So we need to download the driver executable file, which is matching with that particular Edge browser version. If you see here, this is version 
So 97 series is here. Okay, this is 99, this is 98, 97, 96. So we have to go with the 97. Under 97, 97.0, all are 97.0. And the next one is 1072, all are 1072. So only here also, right? 1072. But last version is 69, dot 69. So here 69, 62, 55, 54, 52 is there. I, I will have to go with 69 because this is exactly matching with my Edge browser version. So I need to click on the 64 bit version. Select the 64 bit. You see, Edge driver, Windows 64 bit, okay, is getting downloaded. So let it download, guys. After it gets downloaded, I need to extract this zip file and uh, I need to copy that driver is goodable file, okay? So in folder, where it got downloaded, okay, in the downloads folder of my machine, extract this, guys. Extract this. Okay, either, okay, this is a file, guys. This is exe file. Copy this exe file, driver exe file for uh, Edge browser and uh, come to the, come to the, this project and here under the drivers, you can copy paste that, okay? Under the drivers, you can copy paste. Paste it, you see you got mse edge, edge driver dot exe file. Now, right click on this exe file for a ms edge driver and select properties and copy this path, okay? Copy this path. And provide that path here. This is one way or you can simply say dot slash, okay? dot slash uh, under the project under the drivers folder okay dot forward slash under that drivers folder under the drivers folder dot means here the project path guys okay dot means project path slash forward slash means okay under this project uh, path uh, there is a drivers folder under the drivers folder we have this again one more forward slash and say ms edge ms edge driver dot exe file okay the name and extension of the uh, this driver okay so we have to give that now we have successfully set the path to the driver executable file for this edge browser this time you will not get the exception run this code you see this time it will launch the edge browser for you without exception we will see that edge browser getting launched you see the edge browser has got launched this is what is the edge browser guys okay close microsoft edge done so guys Hope it is clear for you, right? Why we are getting the illegal state exception? Because the Selenium web driver cannot talk to the browsers directly. It needs the help of the driver executable file, okay? And the process for setting up that driver executable file is like this. This line you have to add. Otherwise, you'll get the exception known as illegal state exception. Here, guys, you can try with other browsers also like uh, Chrome, Firefox, uh, uh, Opera, Internet Explorer, anything you can try. I took the example of its browser, okay? Fine. So that's all for this session, guys. Thank you. Bye.